WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant and sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 M update. And we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You got the Dow off 220 points, about six tenths percent. SP is down two tenths or 11 points. Up on the upside, you've got the NASDAQ 100, three tenths of percent, 59 points there, six tenths for the S. The Sox, the uh, semis, they're up 29 points. The trainings are up 39. Uh, the Russell's off four points. As I said, we've got a mixed bag out there. You've got gold that's trading up eight bucks and silver's down 12 cents. Lights Recruit is off a buck. Natural gas is down eight pennies. 30 year treasury off 11 ticks, printed out at 115.07. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart, we begin upper left-hand side, the ES Mini. Did close below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday. A second close below it today. It being 52.19 would give you a profile change in trend signal. I'd say that have some real meaning if, in fact, the spot volatility can close above that descending trend line. And that is its resistance point out there. If you take a look at the NQ, the NQ's got a TD9 count bottom. Yesterday's price to the move downside tested that, rejected that. Also closed above the bottom of its daily profile. Um, key level here is 1805150. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, looks like it's on a rampage. It's uh, got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. 106.53 is its price target. We'll take a look at the euro during the Trader's Edge show, but that uh, looks to be failing at this stage here. If we take a look at gold, gold is held up pretty well. It does have a new profile that it is attempting to form. We were at this point yesterday. That profile never did form. We have a new one that is back. The resistance zone is between 2349 and 2384. That's watch 2349 why because if price closed below that typically sellers can push price down to the bottom of the profile and that's at the 2278 level in the case of uh, uh, silver, silver is going to complete. It, it formed a TD9 count top yesterday. It's completed it today. Also attempting to form a new profile. Support at 26.57. Resistance at 28.65. In the case of lights, we crude, a consolidation with inside its daily profile. It's got a TD9 count top. The consolidation range between 84.09 and 87.63. In the case of natural gas, it's got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, but it has failed to take out a prior swing point at 1.906. Uh, it's failed to, um, it's right now trading back inside its daily profile out there. It is at a support area, which is 1.793. The support zone or the buy zone is between 1.750 and 1.793. The 30 year treasury. It's at the 1.272 expansion of its C to D leg, really of the A to B leg out there. Just waiting for a bullish reversal candle to identify a bottom. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show, if you will. And if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.